Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great Easter weekend. Coming at you from the basement with this uh, preview video. <clears throat> the warm-up, uh, three rounds, <clears throat> basic stuff. Got a couple extra exercises in there, so uh, if it takes too long, we'll definitely cut the uh, cut of that 12 minutes tops for this one. But uh, that should get you going. And then your workout for Monday. We have A, B, and C. We're going to do uh, five rounds of A. But each round, you're going to take off the bottom exercise. We've done this format before. So you start with the uh, goblet squat, the side lunge. You go through the whole, all the way down, A. Then the one-legged burpee, the plank box drag, the uppercut press, <clears throat> lying toe touches. And then we go all the way back to the top again. Do all of the top four exercises, then the top three, the top two. The last round is just going to be your goblet squat to side lunge. And then you do it for B. Then you do it for C. Now, if you finish early, <clears throat> you have time. <clears throat> excuse me. Then you're going to start with the core, all the core exercises. You're going to go across the bottom, do all that. Then you go up to the Bosu Dumbbell, shh, and then you go, so then you kind of sneak through the workout all the way and uh, see if you can get through a whole other set. <clears throat> all right, so we got warm up, nothing to do on there. We've got some box exercises, some stretches, and all the fun stuff. All right, so again, you're gonna go down A, <clears throat> and you're gonna do five exercises, like I said, but let me just show you all the kettlebell exercises. All right, a uh, big heavy one here for you. So, uh, so goblet squat to side lunge, this could be a combo. So we're gonna go goblet squat to side lunge, and that's gonna count as one. We do that five times on each side. This is a new one, walk up, half walk up slasher. So, uh, kind of down here. You're gonna go half walk up, so your knee, when you're on your knee, the weight is down by your hip. And then we stand and up. So down, stand and up. So five on each side of that one. And then your bottom half of your Turkish get up, <clears throat> real quick. If he goes home, <clears throat> very new for this one. So your knee is up, same side has the weight. So we're gonna go up, shoulders come up. <clears throat> and then we're going up to the hips. And then back down, all the way so the elbow touches the ground. <clears throat> Five of those on each side. And that is your kettlebell. And your box exercises. So we're going to do a burpee, if you can, let's hope you can see this, uh, I'm trying to do a one-footed burpee, it's a burp, you don't have to do the push-up, so we're going down here, try to go out, if you can, to one foot, then come back, and then the burp, the box squat jump, okay, so we'll do five on each side, if you get one foot, it might be tough for a lot of people, that's fine, both feet on the ground, no K, but if you can, and you kick your foot up, one foot, Nice, strong, straight back, and jump back. That's under A. Under B is our squat touch. So we want to stay squatted on the box. Try to keep the knee at a 90, and then just go pick up side to side. Stay low. You want to keep your hip, your butt, as low as your knee. 10, so we're five each side. Switch legs, five each side. And then front, elevated split squat. Now, foot on the box. The goal is back knee, Still touches, right? Go down and up. If that seems too easy, grab the weight. All right, and we're on to plank, box, drag. So good core, good strong uh, plank position, and you're gonna move that weight in a box. You go one, two, three, four, and then reverse that. One, two, three, and four. So a box is four reps. So you're gonna do four boxes because we're on 16 reps. Skull crusher, down, right, here, and up. Nice, good control of that one. And then this other new one, the bear circles, for lack of a better term, we're gonna to to call it that. So your bear crawl is when your knees are right into your hips, hips come up, and you wanna be nice and tall, and we're gonna make a circle. One, two, so we're doing eight, Three, so don't just in the same direction and be a whirlwind. You gotta control it. You make it a circle. Now, if you need to, you can get another dumbbell to put your hand on. Even if you had your hand on one step, see what that would look like. So you're up a little bit higher, and that way you uh, don't feel like you have to pull your shoulder up too, too much. And again, you don't want your shoulder falling out of your socket. You wanna be Strong, so your shoulder blade is back. And we're nice and engaged with that hand, and we're making a circle. Control it. So again, that should be fun. Ten of those. 
eight of those on each side. So four one way, four the other, switch hands, eight total, four and four. All right, work in progress on that one. We'll see how everyone feels with that one. Then we've got two light dumbbells. If you can, stand on your BOSU. I don't have a BOSU here at home. So you're gonna do your uppercut press. Again, you can be on the ground on the BOSU if you can. Uppercut press, one, two, so I think we've got 16 of those. Light set of dumbbells for this. Front, lateral raise. So we go front, and then down. That's one. Go up. That's two. Uh, yeah, so 16 of those. You'll definitely feel it. And then a heavier dumbbell, you got to go so you can put your foot on the ball. So one hand, we'll do a, uh, like a floor press. And while you do that, you do a hip raise. So again, that foot on the BOSU will make it a little more challenging. But one hand does the uh, press. The other foot does the hip raise. And then your core stuff. All right? Yes. All right. Uh, lying. I'll take toe, toe touches. All right. One hand, opposite foot, back and forth. Doing 30 of those. V sit, leg drop. Feet up, hands up. Control. Control that. All right. We'll try this new one an oblique crunch. So, easiest way I can kind of tell you to do this, you kind of pull your knees up. So, you're going to 90 at your hips, 90 at your knee. And then the upper arm, we're not doing a flat on the ground with your shoulder. We're not doing a totally side plank. It's right there, sweet spot's kind of in the middle. And put your under arm, the arm that's underneath, put that hand kind of right there on those obliques. Because that's what you want to feel your engagement as we do our crunches. All right? So we're coming up here. Good control. It's a subtle movement. Feel those obliques. Engage and squeeze as you pull up. And that's what we're looking for on the oblique crush. Do it one time. We've got 615 on each side. See how it goes. Probably might add that in to repertoire. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Uh, I'm going to try to post this early so I have everyone have a good idea of what to do on Monday. But happy Easter to all those who are celebrating Easter. Uh, and just a happy weekend to those who might not be celebrating Easter. And uh, again, just a good time to say thank you to everybody out there. Really appreciate you guys sticking with Manic for so long. And uh, you know, the gratitude I have for everyone out there. It's true. It's really, uh, uh, I mean, uh, can't, can't say enough about the community at Manic. So, be a good weekend to repeat myself um, and uh, give you uh, all the, uh, the appreciation that you deserve. So, thank you, Manic community. Staying strong. Enjoy this beautiful weekend. We'll see you Monday.